Hello everyone. Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. Yes, that channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Yes, we've been taping, taping, taping. We've been talking, talking, talking and we definitely been solidifying conversations on Candy Burst, Nene Leaks, Kenya and we just going to go on and on and on tonight. But I think this may be my last video. I'm not quite sure, but hey, we're going to give it to where it is so I can't talk no more. I get sleepy and I have to call it a night. Okay? But I think this is going to be my last video for tonight. But anyway, we're going to go on and get into the story that Celebrity Insider brought out for us. Okay, I'm a little late on the scene, but it just is what it is. Bear with me. Okay, bear with me, family. Okay, we can't always get the stories when they drop hot like a... Um, like Snoop Dogg just say, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. If the if the pigs try to get at you, pop, what is it, park it like it's hot, park it like it's hot, park it like it's hot. And when the eagles get an attitude, pop them like it's hot, pop it like it's hot, pop it like, I got the rollie on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Dunn and I rolled the best week because I got it going on. Snoop! Yes! Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Yes. On into the story that Celebrity Insider brought out with the Ricky Mathers over there trying to do an article title of Nene Leake says she is still friends with Wendy Williams but has major trust issues. Yes, this came a little bit after my birthday, which I celebrated my 52 or my 52nd birthday on January 22nd. Still doing it, what making it do what it do. Yes, okay. But yeah, I dropped this article on the 24th of January. So we kind of playing catch up here. We playing a little bit of catch up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. News is news. Whether you get it now, you get it later. Okay? But anyway, like I said, um, Ricky Mathers, or Mathers over there, correspondent, journalist at Celebrity Insider, titled her article, Nene Leak says she is still friends with Wendy Williams but has major trust issues. Now, you know these two ladies ain't nothing but big-ass gossipers. They are both on, uh, well, I won't say Wendy is. She's just a go gossip columnist that has a TV show that strictly talk about entertainers. Okay, and she may get into a little political inside of gossip, but normally... Normally, it ranges around entertainment gossip, okay? That's her talk. That's her claim to fame. She even did it on when she was a personality radio host. Still talking about entertainers. So, that's her claim to fame. She's doing a brilliant job on it and about it. If you don't know who she is, just Google her. And go on and search for the Wendy, Wendy Williams talk show. And I'm sure you'll run into some information, okay? But Nene Lee's, we know she's on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She started the franchise when it had its inductee first episode in 2008. Okay, she went over there and told something personal to Wendy Williams. Now, in your head, your logic, okay? Because they can't fool us. They can't fool the fam over here. We be peeping game all day, every day, all right? If you get something on us, it's because we sick. We just overwhelmed. We, we just got a lot going on that we ain't really zooming in on what you're telling us. You know, it's just like going in one ear, going out the other. It really has no relevancy. So we ain't, you know, it ain't really hitting us. So we missing it, okay? But when we sharp, we detailed, and we in focus with a particular topic or subject. Oh, you can't put nothing off on my fam. Mm-mm. We got investigators over here, honey. We got people that just sit there and they listen to every blogger out there and will come and give you news updates okay they go deeper than what i go i just stay at the surface okay but they be going deep 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 okay i'm talking about 32 feet deep all right just trying to find out shit okay but anyway wendy williams got some information from nene leaks allegedly that hey this is what's going on. And the bloggers done been out there talking about it. I never got a chance to talk about it. I could really care less about it. Because I really, in my heart of hearts, I don't believe it. Okay, they saying Nene Leaks, that her husband, Greg Leaks, done called himself gotten somebody pregnant. <laughs> I'm like, is he still shooting sperm, y'all? Is the man still shooting sperm? I could have sworn he was up there shooting blanks, okay? And why he's sitting up there trying to impregnate somebody younger than him, I have no idea. Because did he forget who the breadwinner was around now? 
down. They were in their league. So Kai, she could barely keep up with her two sons, especially Bryson going out there doing everything under the sun. Okay, that ain't godly. And then you got Brett out there. He ain't doing too much. And I like the way he stay out of social media. Ain't nobody found no dirt on him yet. But I'm sure it's going to come sooner or later. But hopefully he, it won't. He'll just be an upstanding citizen. Going to do what he got to do. Just as long as he's just, you know, do the straight and narrow. And, and, and get out of this uh, entertainment field life of living. You know what I'm saying? Because when you get exposed to something big as a platform or what his mom is on, you're going to be coming in contact with a lot of precarious people. And when I say precarious, I mean weirdos. People that do anything for some change. People that introduce you for to things that you thought you would never skirt around of seeing, okay? But it's just, like I said, anything that's out there like a candy store, the entertainment business will bring it to you. Now, is this forbidden fruit? Hell yeah. But, you know, you got people out there that still want to test the waters. Some get bit and taken under and drowned and whatnot. And some people just get a little bit of it and they say, forget it. I'll go independent. I ain't with that life. And they come on out. And they be, those are the ones that you call, uh, what do you call it? One hit wonders, those kind of people, or they doing independent, they ain't really got no radio play and none of that. They just hustling, you know what I'm saying? But their music is still tight, good, but they ain't getting no play from the big people. It's because you got to do some strange things to fit in it. Hollow weird, you know what I'm saying? All right, those who have eyes to see, see, uh, those who have ears, hear, okay? But anyway, getting on into the article, it said Wendy Williams had fans preparing for the worst when she announced that she received a text message from Nene Leake saying that she's quitting the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now go figure, like I said, the theory out there or what's hitting on social media streets, okay, that some bloggers are talking about, uh, is that Nene, uh, husband Greg, has fathered a child by somebody younger than them both, and she's pregnant and she's going to carry that child through uh her full term okay and she gonna be getting some of nini's money <laughs> now all of this is allegedly but hey half the time when you got smoke there's fire coming surely after that okay but going back to the article it says soon after both nini and her publicist made a statement that she hasn't made a decision about her future on the show yes there will be a, a fantabulous fantastic storyline honey because i'm sure she'll be putting greg out they'll be calling the police the woman that greg is so supposedly have had a baby with she'll probably be trying to get her family tied oh can you see a three ring circus going around now so yeah Nene don't probably want that information allegedly again to be leaked out. But then again, I think she do because why would you tell Wendy Williams of all people the hottest, largest platform that you can put salacious stories on, whether they true or not, be exposed through her? See what I'm saying? It's kind of twofold. It may be true and it may not be true. Either way, it's going to create a major storyline, one that Nene must sell to Real Housewives of Atlanta Bravo True Entertainment so she can definitely come back being the highest paid on the show. Because somebody old as Greg still shooting sperm up in somebody. I just can't. It's kind of made me nauseated. It made me want to throw up to hear about it. That he still got soldiers running around there trying to impregnate somebody. Like Greg. Oh, Greg. You too old for this type of behavior. You should be wrapping it up anyway, baby. Wrapping it up. Why do you not get a vasectomy, honey? When you will find your cancer scare. Why you ain't get a vasectomy, Greg? If all of this is allegedly true. I'm disappointed, Greg. I'm, I had so much expectations for you as a true gentleman. But goddamn, you already done some allegedly cheated on Nene before. That's why she divorced your behind. But I think it would have more to do with y'all taxes and this other stuff that uh, Nene was trying to get away from. Or at least save some money for y'all. Because she didn't want to pay them taxes. She didn't want to be hooked up with you. So the best thing she could have done was divorce you. But like I said, that's just all in my speculation. I don't know. I'm just talking shit over him. But it sounds good to me and my family like it. We're going to go with it. Okay? We're going to go with it until something else comes uh, out as the truth. And then we have to reevaluate what we said. Okay? 
Because anything that's given to us in black and white, if it isn't true and you got credible resources and you got stuff to bag up the information, we can't believe it. We'll come off our stance. We ain't no hard people over here. But it's hard to change our mind when we got our own evidence going on, okay? We can't be debunked. We can't refute. We can't uh, recant our story. But it has to be credible information to debunk what we feel over here, okay? All right. So we're going back to the article. It says, uh, Leaks later revealed that she thought it was a violation of girl code since she was simply venting to her friend. It didn't help that in addition to telling her national audience that Nene is giving Real Housewives of Atlanta the boot, she also revealed that she has a huge secret that would make others feel sorry for her. And Nene, we ain't got time to be feeling sorry for you, especially if your husband cheating on you. Girl, please. That's like preaching to the choir. Men cheat, women cheat. It just depends on how long you're going to allow them to uh, treat you like shit or uh, try to take your money. How long you're going to fight in court with them, depending on how long y'all were married. Did you have a prenup? This, that, and the third. Yes, we can give you some empathy. We can give you a little sympathy. But we don't want you to make it a storyline because, see, you already played that card. Remember when you and Greg got divorced before? Honey, back in the day, I forgot what season it was, all right, and what episode. It's not relevant, but we know you already played that divorce thing, and we had to see you go through all that shit. We don't want to see that again. We don't want to see that storyline, so hopefully it's something else, honey. Hopefully it is something else, but Wendy made sure that she told us it wasn't no health problems, wasn't no health scares, and no children were being involved, no health problems or scares, so... Yeah, I guess it would be another cheating scene. And then you coming up with a whole baby out of the situation. And, you know, I don't think people give Nene no sympathy. She'll probably, they'll probably just say, hey, I divorce him, honey. Divorce him. And he going to have to get whatever settlement money or pre prenup money y'all decided on. He going to have to get that to the baby. Because you don't, you know, you going to live your best life. You ain't got time to be fooling around with Greg and his infidelities and stuff. Like he can't keep his dick between his legs. Girl please okay but anyway we moving on from that situation we go back to the article that was my sidebar um it says the broadway star recently addressed the mania on a youtube video where she explained that she is still friends with the talk show host but has major trust issues honey and nina you got trust issues with everybody you got trust issues with yourself so we ain't gonna put it all on wendy williams because ain't no way in the hell the hell i would have been befriending wendy williams who is a talk show talk show go gossip columnist that's how she make her money anyway in the world i'm gonna sit and put this information in her ear banks Thinking she gonna hold water? Hell no. Okay, so Nene, if you did give her that information, shame on you, baby girl. Shame on you, cause you should have known better. You should have known better, honey. You should have talked to your spiritual counselor with that little information, okay? Cause she charging you anyway. You might well have something new to say, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it said uh, she told her audience, "Wendy and I are friends." I have vented to her on many occasions. That particular day, I did not vent to her. I just sent her one text, and then she went out on the couch and started talking. I think that personal, private conversations should stay private. I think that anybody should be able to vent to a friend without a friend totally outing them or saying what they said to anyone. I just, hmm, it was not a good, it was not a cool thing. The self-proclaimed queen of Real Housewives of Atlanta went on to say, when stuff like that happens, it really hurts because it's like you don't know if you can trust anybody. Well, Nene, side boy, honey, if you don't want something repeated or told to you in your face that it may shock you, shame you, or you may get disappointed with them, don't tell the shit. That's a golden rule. Everybody know that rule. Keep it between you and the Lord or you and the Lord that you serve okay keep it to yourself keep it to yourself baby so with you divulging that information and the person that you divulged it to it serves you up right it was meant for us to know and i really feel that way you wanted us to know you wanted us to feel some kind of way for you i don't know how the cookies may turn in your favor or may not be in your favor you wanted us to know all right or you would have kept it a secret because you kept it a secret about buying your uh son bryson a home 
right? 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 So that wasn't really none of our business, but it was something to be uh, saluted and, and congratulated to. But you didn't give us that information. You didn't leak that information to Wendy. Okay? So it just is what it is, Nene. You bite the poison apple. You got to take the um, uh, the consequences of eating that uh, rotten apple. Okay? So, um, when you gave the information to, uh, Wendy Williams, you tainted the whole thing. So, if it makes you sick that she, uh, divulged, uh, private information that you all had, just hear what it is. You told the queen of talk TV, baby. The queen of talk TV. Please, Nene. Okay, going back to the article, it said the, um... Who can you talk to? It's just like, oh my gosh, you can't talk to anybody about anything personal. So I dealt with that. This comes after some slam. Wait a minute. It comes after some slam, the broadcasting legend for exposing her friend on live TV. While others feel that it was a publicity stunt that obviously worked. Yes, honey. Whether it's good news or bad news, if you put it out there for everybody to uh, partake of and then regurgitate, it just is what it is. It's news. You're being relevant. You're being talked about. And that's what the whole scene of is in the music industry and entertainment industry. It doesn't matter whether somebody is loving you or hating you. Just as long as you're being talked about, that is the key to say, staying successful or relevant in the entertainment field okay i'm just saying i am just saying they are all artists in their own way and they're really a part of a satanic type uh industry because you have to do some things that you probably wouldn't do ordinarily to still be in that fixture of an elite type of group or elite type of environment you want to uh continue to solidify yourself in okay i'm just saying i'm just saying okay so y'all get down and talk to me about what y'all felt about this article that nene put out on wendy williams and she also did a little article with celebrity insider but it's, it's really much saying the same thing she ain't mad at nene nene has forgiven her and it just is what it is okay yeah we all know it is what it is because like most people have peep game it was a publicity stunt that's all it was to keep nene's to stay relevant and she leans on to her friend wendy to boost her ratings by giving her uh, the okay to say, oh, yeah, she leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because, you know, shortly after that, Nene came back and recanted the story that no, she ain't leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's on being unsaid. I'm like, Nene going to be there. They don't pay her but a quarter more. She going to be there. Okay. Now, more drama she can bring up. More drama to make them tune in to uh, True Entertainment Bravo style. She gonna give it to him. She done sold her soul anyway. Hell, she might well go and finish it all out. There's nothing left to Nene. Especially when she done got as high as uh, Wendy Williams. Okay? Psh, please. Wendy treat you her all the tricks of what to do and how to do it to stay famous in the entertainment world. Yes. Yes, honey. That's Wendy, honey. But all of that glitters is not gold. It's funny money up there. It's funny and uh, highly weird is what they call it, okay? But that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Let me know what y'all thought about the um, selected article that I presented to you all on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share and like my videos. And as always, I will see y'all next video. Y'all guys be blessed. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.